Hello beautiful Geminis and welcome to my channel. My name is Erica and this is Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. I'm a psychic, medium, oracle, and prophet test, you guys. So welcome, welcome. So you guys already saw the title of this video. You know why you are here. We're gonna hone in on uh, new year energy, current energy, what's coming in, um, beginning of the year, right off the bat, you guys have some type of victory. It's a win, ace of air. This little boy here, he's carrying the sword. So it does feel, um, could be related to children, a victory. Could be some type of legal thing. Inspiration, communication, adjustments. Yeah, maybe some like adjustments were being made or having to be made, um, something along the lines of that, but it's some type of victory, okay? So that is what I'm getting at, it's very specific. Um, yeah, see the angels were guiding the situation the whole time, but also you guys, this is a victory and, um, communication. It does feel that someone here in the recent past felt defeated, sad, let down. Okay. You guys have been finding a new found, um, a new found spark, a new found inspiration, this new kind of energy within you that is igniting all of these bright ideas, um, just inspirational things about your future, about your life, your spirituality, your, you know, your work, whatever it is. I'm hearing innovation. You guys are very innovative at this time. Yep. You're innovative. Indeed. You're coming out as the wise counselor. See, very intelligent. This is like the hierophant, right? It's belonging, learning, and traditions. <laughs> I'm hearing breaking traditions. So for a lot of you guys, you are, you know, the one that is breaking ancestral patterns, lineage stuff, all of that. Breaking tradition, okay? Traditionally, this is how we do things in our family. Traditionally, this is how things are done. Well, you guys are the way shower of your family, of your, you know, whatever. A lot of you guys had spiritual gifts from a young age and you were told basically it was brushed off and now you've risen up in your power and now you've been healing these inner child wounds and it doesn't have to be about spiritual gifts it could be other stuff you know the wise counselor and ace of air this feels like commitment. It feels like some type of relationship. It feels like new love. New love is on the horizon, Gemini. Let's see if spirit agrees with me. What do we have here? Page of fire. New love indeed. It says creative, enthusiastic, motivated. See, I, you guys are very innovative. You guys are tapping into your fire energy, your sacral energy. Okay. You guys are really in this energy where you're thinking long-term, you're ready to set yourself up. You're following your passions, okay? Page of Fire, though, is a message. It's, it's some kind of communication, a text, a DM, and it's full of passion, excitement, curiosity. Someone who wants to start some kind of adventure with you. So they send a message. Feels like, um, could be someone who, you know, might be a little younger than you. But whoever this person is coming in, they are someone who is charismatic, you know, full of enthusiasm for life. It's a good energy, a fresh energy. Three of earth, talent, recognition, and collaboration. Look at this. See, she's building. This is someone who will be someone that wants to build with you, Gemini. You guys are going to build together. And again, the angels have been guiding this. You see? Even when you felt defeated, the angels were guiding you into your victory. You are getting a lot of recognition from the divine at this time. Good recognition. You guys, a lot of you guys, you're being blessed. You're being blessed for the obstacles um, that you've overcome, for the deaths that you've overcome. 
You guys have gone through many deaths and rebirths, okay? A lot of you this past year, you've released a lot. This one card just fell out perfectly on my lap. See that? Let's see what it is. It's the devil. Ego. Right when I say you guys have been releasing and then the sun on the bottom of the deck, a big fat yes. This is enlightenment and ascension. This is showing me your growth this year. You guys have um, found more of a sense of belonging in your life, your purpose, where you know who you are. Where for so long you guys had, you know, especially if you're light worker starcy, which many of you are. You have this energy of I feel like I don't ever belong anywhere. I don't fit in. I don't belong with someone. I don't, you know, it's a very isolated feeling. But you guys are, um, you know, you've come into more of your soul tribe. Spirit is also guiding that, okay? They're, they're bringing in partnerships, people that you can collaborate with. See, it says collaboration. And see, she's working, she's crafting, she's building something creative. Stained glass, that's, that's you know, she's tapping into her creative side. So very strong energy with that, you guys. You're definitely being called the beginning of the year to hone in on that, whatever it is tap into your creative side the ego this is what you have been releasing illusion delusion dependency materialism you see that she's she's holding a caged bird right but the thing is open this is about free will you've always had the free will but you've kept yourself stuck you're not keeping yourself stuck anymore Gemini's you guys are now flying out of that cage you guys have found your freedoms who you are when you are finding more of yourself You've put more faith into your spirituality, too. The sun. This is divine masculine energy. And then right after I talk about the divine masculine, the empress is right underneath the divine feminine. So there is enlightenment, clarity, um, lots of success. You guys, this year is going to be a very successful year for you. But the beginning of this month, you know, current energies, there's something that comes in that brings clarity and enlightenment. There's something here with, um, it's like you guys hit the jackpot or something. There's something here with, if you're an entrepreneur or something, there's something big coming up for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys watching this, it's something really big. It sets you up for life. It's your enthusiasm, your new, you know, your high vibrational energy that helps bring all this stuff in because you're coming out, you know, now after everything that you've been through, you see, I said that you guys have been, you know, through a year of like releasing da 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 whatever I said. Right. And then, right. As I said that the card fell out my lap and it was the devil. What you release is ego, the ego self fear, material, you know, things you've realized that you don't find your happiness on the outside. You find your happiness within. That's what you have realized, Gemini. That was one of your biggest lessons of 2021. What you seek, what you've always seeked, it's always been within. <sighs> okay, when you realize that, when you realize that, it put you more into your, two, your true divine feminine power because for many of you guys, you're the divine feminine watching this. And if you're a masculine watching this, it helped you ascend more into your feminine power because your masculine power was too much. You, it wasn't balanced. Either way. So now you're coming out as the empress, as the high frequency feminine energy, right? Someone who is in the energy of receiving manifestations, abundance, it's harvest, you know. Um, she is in receiving mode. She just lets things flow to her. She's in her yin energy. She does not chase, she attracts everything. Many of you guys, if you are at the age where you're able to, this year you are fertile, you have a pregnancy. You become mothers this year. I am one of those people who is manifesting that. Maybe not this year, next year, but for sure my divine union, my husband. I meet my husband this year. You guys follow along and you'll see. I meet my husband this year. And I have a feeling by the end of this year, I will either be married or just about to it. 
because I am in my holy fuck spirit agrees and you guys I'm saying this because I feel this for a lot of you guys in this empress mode this is what's coming in it's a new abundant cycle someone messages you it sparks something up with this person you're finally in an energy where you're high vibe you're high frequency so the universe sends you someone in high frequency high vibe you see it's a divine masculine that makes you extremely happy and I feel that your person more than likely, because a lot of you guys are spiritual, you're enlightened, your person will be too, or well on their way, or just like you guys connect on that way. It's like the same wavelength. It's a wish fulfillment. You see that? This card has been coming out like crazy. The dandelion where she blows the, like, you know, makes a wish. It's your wish fulfillment. It's dreams coming true. The universe is sending you in a king of water. Look at that. Someone who is, um, has deep emotion who's mature with their emotions. Let's just say that they're, they're, they're emotionally mature. For Gemini, please tell me about um, the Empress, the Sun, the Nine of Water, and the Ace of Swords. This could be someone you end up marrying for sure. This could be the one, Gemini, for a lot of you guys. You guys come together and you build I am getting that between the two of you, you could have three children. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. You see that? The universe is sending you a high vibrational soulmate as a wish fulfillment. But you're going to have to keep an open mind, you see, because it's going to be maybe a little different than your usual type and expectations. But don't freak out. That doesn't mean your person's going to have like, you know, four hands and a hunchback. It means that they are just different than what you're used to dealing with. So maybe you're used to dating people who are really tall and this person's not as tall as your usual expectation, but they're really handsome and, and loving or really beautiful and loving. Um, maybe you're just used to dating narcissists and this person isn't a narcissist and you're like, whoa, what's wrong with you? You're so used to being damaged. So just keep an open mind. The universe is not going to send you someone to spend your life with that repulses you, Gemini. It's going to be good. Um, also, what I am hearing is that for a lot of you, Geminis, when it comes to manifesting um, union, you are just manifesting with one direct person in mind. So keep an open mind. See how there's several people? It's like keep an open mind. Allow the universe, you know, I'm open to love. I'm open to divine connections. I'm open for my counterpart. I'm ready to meet my forever love. Like it's that. It is safe for you to love. You guys are in an energy now where your universe and spirit says, yes, it is time. definitely this is new love i felt that from the beginning it, it, it's like but it is a strong bond it's a strong bond so this is a soulmate connection you know this is a soulmate for you engagement see i felt that i said that by the end of this year and look what you got you guys i said by the end of this year i feel like i could be married or close to it and i said i think i'm saying this because of you guys i feel like i you know boom there it is boom Da, na, 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 boom and then look what's peeking up honeymoon and separation see for a lot of you guys you've been in separation from this person you've known them in past lives but you've been in separation on the 3d realm in this lifetime up until now okay it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment you guys are going to be in relationships very soon this person is not going to be a bullshit person all right you know what? I'm going to switch decks real quick. No. I'm going to just use my, my message deck. They're all flipped up all crazy. <laughs> For Gemini. For Gemini, please. I dream of holding you once more. I'll wait for you. I see you everywhere. Everything reminds me of you. And children, you see, I said three children, 
that there's something here with children or you get together with this person and you have more children with them. You know what this is, Gemini? Yeah, sure, this could be someone from the past with these cards, but it still feels like new love, but it just feels like past life love. It feels like when you meet them, it's very beautiful, actually. I dream of holding you once more. I'll wait for you. It's like their soul, their higher self, their over soul is saying this to, to yours. Like, I will wait for you. Like, I am here. I dream of holding you once more. It's been lifetimes since I've held you. I see you everywhere. It's this familiarity. Like, Gemini, a lot of you guys probably, you feel like a love, a bond to someone. Like maybe you even feel like you're taken, but you're not. You're totally single. You've never even met some this person, but you feel connected to them. That's what this is. That's what this is. And children, your guys' are spirit babies, your past, you know, from past lives, your babies are helping guide you guys together. The spirit babies are big right now in these connections. They're big. I see forever in your eyes. See? It's beautiful, you guys. Wow. Okay. Wow. All right. Let's do some. You know what? Hold on. Since we're like on the whole thing of love, I'm going to do whispers of love and then we're going to wrap it up. For Gemini, please. For Gemini. <sighs> Tell me about this new love, this new um, high vibrational soulmate. Thank you. It says you are limitless. You can do anything you choose. So again, Gemini, spirits confirming. You're coming out here as the unicorn energy. This is a very high frequency, high dimensional um, being, right? You are limitless. And that's what it is. You are tapping into your full potential this year. At this time, you are starting to see your full potential, your strength, you're feeling strong, your third eye is activated, you're tapping into the higher dimensions. Um, it's just, it's beautiful energy for you guys. Also, you see the swans here, the two swans. There's your love. There's your soulmate. For some of you guys, it could be a twin flame. Swans, often for me personally as a reader, indicate twin flame union or connection. So that's, you know, how I was just talking about how you could be feeling your person. And then now I get the swans. That's confirmation for me. You're feeling, for, for a lot of you watching this, you're feeling a twin flame. And it's awakening to start to come into union in 3D. That's what it is. And then honesty is essential. Speak with love and truth. 38 breaks down to 11 right as I was talking about twin flames we have card 38 which is 11 the number of twin flames and new beginnings the masks are falling off you see and when I say masks I mean the um the 3d mask see for you and your person you guys are both experiencing enlightenment spiritual awakening you're uh, you're ascending higher you know to higher levels of consciousness right and the 3D masks are falling off. So now you can see with your third eye, the things more clearly, feel things more clearly, see things more clearly. That's what this is. They are seeing you. And when they come in, they're gonna come in with this instant soul recognition and they're gonna be very open and honest with you. They're gonna come in, they wanna already speak a truth to you. They don't even know you. Love endures. Love does not give up or lose faith. Love is hopeful and withstands every situation. Look at this, you guys. These two people are on a ship going through waves, a, a storm. And they've got all this stuff that they've accumulated, their lifetimes, their, you know, everything. Their home, their castle, their... But they've been through so much. This is you guys. You guys have had lifetimes together. Your love endures lifetime after lifetime. You awaken and you find each other. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. See, for a lot of you guys, you're going through dark night of the soul. You're going through, you know, all these things are starting to come up. You know, maybe you're starting to think of things that you haven't thought of for a long time. Situations, people, things that hurt you, losses. And Spirit is saying here, you see, this card is much darker than the other cards. You know, the other cards are all 
really vibrant and bright and colorful. And this one is a dark and she's she's actually like a little girl holding on to another unicorn, okay? So this for me is a lot like at the inner child wounds and all that too. So just keep writing it, you guys. You're embracing your divinity. You're going through dark night of the soul ascension. Let it roll through you. Just let it flow through you. Let the emotion flow right through you, in you and right back out. Romance is entering your life. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. This is what's coming in. 25 breaks down to seven. This is luck. So this is what I have for you guys. So Gemini's, if this was your message, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. When you subscribe, it just ties your energy that much more strongly into my energy. So when I pull, I pull more precisely on individual you know, energies, even though it's collective. Um, and if you guys want to hone in on your own personal situationship, twin flame journey, whatever spiritual guidance, you can email me down below. I'm still doing personals. Um, I can do a live video with you like this or send you a recorded reading. Um, what else you guys tarot lessons? I am offering individual tarot lessons right now. Um, so it's just one-on-one -on -one with me and I help you to, you know, learn how to read the tarot, channel the energy of the cards, tap more into your intuitive side, your psychic abilities, things like that. Um, it's $65 a class, a lesson. Um, it's up to you how many lessons you want to take. You just take one or you can take 20. It doesn't matter. Um, but they're like an hour to an hour and a half long. And, um, again, it's like just one-on-one -on -one with me and it's really interactive and everyone who's doing the lessons like loves it. And they're like super impressed with how, with their abilities, you know, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, and thank you for the donations to the channel. You guys, it means the world to me. I love you. Um, just every single penny dollar, whatever it means the world to me. Um, and go follow me on Instagram, Gypsy Cowgirl Tarot. Okay. So I'm sending you guys love, sending you guys light, happy freaking 2022. Happy new year. You guys, new love is in the air for you guys, for sure. And right as I say that my nose starts itching like crazy, which is me channeling again and spirit going. Yep. So anyways, guys, bye.